Well, welcome on this uh, Wednesday morning, the 2nd of December. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace which you freely bestowed on us in the beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 77. I call to my God, I cry out toward him. I call to my God, and surely he will answer. In the day of my distress I seek the Lord, I stretch out my hands to him by night. My soul is poured out without ceasing, it refuses all comfort. I think upon God and groan aloud. I muse and my spirit faints. You hold my eyelids open. I am so dazed that I cannot flee. I consider the times that are past. I remember the years of long ago. At night I am grieved to the heart. I ponder and my spirit makes search. Will the Lord cast us off forever? Will he show us his favour no more? Is his mercy clean gone for ever, and his promise come to an end for all generations? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he shut up his pity in displeasure? And I say, has the right hand of the Most High lost its strength? Has the arm of the Lord changed? I will declare the mighty acts of the Lord, I will call to mind your wonders of old. I will think on all that you have done and meditate upon your works. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God that works wonders. You make known your power among the nations. By your mighty arm you redeemed your people the children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you and were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water, the heavens spoke, and your arrows darted forth. The voice of your thunder was heard in the whirlwind. Your lightning lit the world, the earth shuddered and quaked. Your way was in the sea, your path in the great waters, and your footsteps were not seen. You led your people like sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words, and actions be well pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The first reading is from Isaiah chapter 2 verse 19 to chapter 3 verse 12. Enter the caves of the rocks and the holes of the ground, from the terror of the Lord, and from the glory of his majesty, 
when he rises to terrify the earth. On that day, people will throw away to the moles and to the bats their idols of silver and their idols of gold, which they made for themselves to worship, to enter the caverns of the rocks and the clefts in the crags from the terror of the Lord and from the glory of his majesty when he rises to terrify the earth. Turn away from mortals who have only breath in their nostrils, for of what account are they? For now the Sovereign, the Lord of hosts, is taking away from Jerusalem and from Judah support and staff, all support of bread and all support of water, warrior and soldier, judge and prophet, diviner and elder, captain of fifty and dignitary, counsellor and skillful magician, an expert enchanter. And I will make boys their princes, and babes shall rule over them. The people will be oppressed, every one by another, and every one by a neighbour. The youth will be insolent to the elder, and the base to the honourable. Someone will even seize a relative, a member of the clan, saying, You have a cloak, you shall be our leader and this heap of ruins shall be under your rule. But the other will cry out on that day, saying, I will not be a healer. In my house there is neither bread nor cloak. You shall not make me leader of the people. For Jerusalem has stumbled and Judah has fallen, because their speech and their deeds are against the Lord, defying his glorious presence. The look on their faces bears witness against them. They proclaim their sin like Sodom. They do not hide it. Woe to them, for they have brought evil on themselves. Tell the innocent how fortunate they are, for they shall eat the fruit of their labours. Woe to the guilty, how unfortunate they are, for what their hands have done shall be done to them. My people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, your leaders mislead you, and confuse the course of your paths. The second reading is from Mark chapter 5, verse 1 to 20. They came to the other side of the lake, to the country of the Gerasenes, and when Jesus had stepped out of the boat, immediately a man out of the tombs with an unclean spirit met him. He lived among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any more, even with a chain. For he had often been restrained with shackles and chains, but the chains he wrenched apart, and the shackles he broke in pieces, and no one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always howling and bruising himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and bowed down before him, and he shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he had said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. He begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Now there were, now there on the hillside, a great herd of swine was feeding, and the unclean spirits begged him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. So he gave them permission, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine, and the herd, numbering about two thousand, rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned in the lake. The swine herds ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came to see what it was that had happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, the very man who had had the legion, and they were afraid. 
Those who had seen what had happened to the demoniac and to the swine reported it. Then they began to beg Jesus to leave their neighborhood. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed by demons begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus refused and said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy he has shown you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, uh, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Today we remember Francis Perry, the founder of the Royal Women's Hospital in Melbourne, who died in 1892. Faithful God, you have surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses. Grant that we, encouraged by the example of your servant, Francis Perry, may preserve in, persevere in running the race that is set before us, until at last, with her, we may attain to your eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. This morning, the prayer from the SPCK Book of Christian Prayer is by Francis Brennan and is still following the theme of Advent. Wilderness is the place of Moses a place of no longer captive and not yet free, of letting go and learning new living. Wilderness is the place of Elijah, a place of silence and loneliness, of awaiting the voice of God and finding clarity. Wilderness is the place of John, a place of repenting, of taking first steps on the path of peace. Wilderness is the place of Jesus, a place of preparation, of getting ready for the reckless life of faith. We thank you, God, for the wilderness. Wilderness is our place as we wait for the land of promise. Teach us the ways of new living. Lead us to where we hear your word most clearly. Renew us and clear out the wastelands of our lives. Prepare us for life in the awareness of Christ's coming, when the desert will sing and the wilderness will blossom as the rose.
I'm using um, some uh, prayers from Candles and Conifers, a resource for All Saints and Advent uh, from the Iona community uh, over this period of time. In the beginning, when it was very dark, God said, let there be light. And there was light. God's light goes on shining in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. We thank God for the people whose lives have been like light in dark places. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves that God's light may shine in us. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we uh, come before you uh, praying for all who are in need this day, all who are in darkness and need the light of your presence in their lives. Lord, help us to be the ones who carry the light into dark places where the darkness is driven away. Help us to be aware of the places of greatest need and to act to bring relief to those who live in those situations. Lord, we continue to offer our prayers in particular for countries that are being devastated by COVID-19. We pray for those with the responsibility of responding uh, to people who are infected and who are you know, struggling with the consequences of the virus. Those who work in hospitals, in testing facilities, those with the responsibility of enforcing uh, restrictions. Lord, we pray for good government. We pray for the, our government at both the federal, state and territory levels, for prime ministers, premiers and chief ministers. We pray for local government. We pray for ourselves and for each other. We pray for those who we love, those who we have close connections through family and through deep friendships. We pray for the connections that we all have. The web of connection, not only with other people, but also with the very nature and depth of the created order, all that you have made. We pray for your church throughout the world. And particularly, we pray for the Anglican Communion. Praying today for the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. For the Diocese of the Seashells in the Indian Ocean and Archbishop James Richard Wong Ying Song, the Primate. We pray for the Diocese of Eastern Oregon in the Episcopal Church and Bishop Patrick Bell. We pray for clergy and people of those dioceses. We pray for the Anglican Church of Australia, praying for our primate, Jeff. And today in the cycle of prayer for the Anglican Church of Australia, we pray for the Diocese of Adelaide, for Archbishop Jeff Smith and Lynn, for the Archbishop in his role as Metropolitan of the Province of South Australia. We pray for the Assistant Bishops Tim Harris and Fiona, Chris McLeod and Sue, and Denise Ferguson and Mark. We pray for the Dioceses of the Province of South Australia. Today also praying for St Mary's Parish in Adelaide, William Deng and Akol. We pray for the Diocese of the Murray, Bishop Keith and Alice, and for the Diocesan Council. For the Diocese of Wallachra, myself as its Bishop, and for Jan. We pray for the Rural Deans, Anne Ford and Michael in York, 
John Fowler in Flinders, Brian Bascom in Air, Glenn MacDonald and Beth in the Upper Spencer Gulf. Lord, we give thanks for the partnership between the Diocese of Wallachia and the Diocese of Mandalay, praying for the Bishop of Mandalay, David Nyin Yang, Mary and Solomon, for Christ Cathedral Parish in Mandalay City, for the Church Music School in the Cathedral, for quality teaching staff in Bible and music, And we pray that uh, they may prepare for the lifting of restrictions due to COVID-19. We pray for for Bishop David as he leads the development of the school. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement Grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. <clears throat> Just uh, conclude again from Candles and Conifers. The light of God lead us and make us unafraid. The power of God to protect us and make us strong. The joy of God to heal us and make us happy the grace of God to bless us and keep us loving now and evermore. Amen. May you truly be blessed this day in all that you do. Bye-bye.